Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert between centimeters and millimeters. So centimeters to millimeters and millimeters to centimeters. Now one thing to keep in mind, one centimeter equals 10 millimeters. We need this information in order to convert. Let's jump into number one where we have six centimeters equals how many millimeters? Well, again, each of those centimeters is going to be 10 millimeters. So we have 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, 10 millimeters, six times. In other words, six times 10. Six times 10 equals 60. So six centimeters equals 60 millimeters. When we go from centimeters to millimeters, we multiply by 10. Let's move on to number two, where we have 30 and 74 hundredths, or 30.74 centimeters, equals how many millimeters? Now, this number is not as easy to work with as number one. Number one, we were able to use mental math and do six times 10. Here, we're going to need to multiply by 10 again because we're going from centimeters to millimeters. When we multiply something by 10, we can actually make this really simple. All we need to do is move the decimal one time to the right. When we multiply something by 10, each digit of that number shifts one place to the left. The value of the number increases by 10. In other words, we multiply by 10. So technically the digits shift and increase in value, but let's make this simple and move the decimal in order to push all of our digits to the correct place, so to speak. So again, move the decimal once to the right in order to multiply by 10. So let me rewrite 30 and 74 hundredths here and we will move this decimal once to the right, and it's now going to go in between the seven and the four. So we get 307 and four tenths, or 307.4 millimeters there. So 30.74 centimeters equals 307.4 millimeters. Let me go back up to number one and see if moving the decimal for that one will work as well. Just to show that this will work for any problem. Multiplying by 10, move that decimal once to the right. So we have six, and the decimal always comes after a whole number. So decimal, and let's move it once to the right, and fill this gap with a zero. So we get 60 that way as well. So to recap, when going from centimeters to millimeters, multiply by 10. And we can do that by moving the decimal once to the right. Let's move on to number three, where we have 90 millimeters equals how many centimeters? Well, each group of 10 millimeters equals a centimeter. So we need to see how many groups of 10 are in 90. In other words, 90 divided by 10. Well, 90 divided by 10 is nine. 90 millimeters equals nine centimeters. When we go from millimeters to centimeters, we divide by 10. Let's move on to number four, where we have 275 and eight tenths, or 275.8 millimeters equals how many centimeters? Now this number is not as easy to work with as the 90 from number three. In number three, we were able to use mental math in order to divide by 10. For number four, when we divide by 10, we shift each digit to the right one place. This will give us one tenth the value of our original number. In other words, we are dividing by 10. We can do this by moving the decimal once to the left. So let me rewrite 275 and 8 tenths here. So again, we're dividing by 10, and we can make this simple by just moving the decimal once to the left. 
and the decimal is now going to go in between the 7 and the 5. So we get 27 and 58 hundredths. So 275.8 millimeters equals 27.58 centimeters. So there you have it. There's how you convert between centimeters and millimeters. When we go from centimeters to millimeters, we multiply by 10, and we can do that by moving the decimal once to the right. When we go from millimeters to centimeters, we divide by 10, and we can do that by moving the decimal once to the left. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.